Hey guys, so I've been working on putting DCC into this bathroom ready to run SD60 and I want to redo all the lighting because it has the original no good Athern rice bulbs in it so I've ripped all that out and I want to put my 603 sunny white SMDs in there and I'm running into a bit of a problem with this model and I've encountered on other ones before but it's particularly bad on this model so the problem is light bleed from the LEDs the LEDs are so bright that they radiate light in just about every direction I think it's like 180 degrees around the SMD and that light gets picked up by the plastic of the shell and then kind of radiates outward and you can see a glow through the shell on the outside so that's no good we don't want that it doesn't look real at all it looks really fake so I found a way to fix that and uh, it was kind of unique to this model but I think it would work on a lot of different models first let's take a look at what the problem is and that is the light bleed from the 603 sunny white SMD LEDs this is a CP SD60 it's X SU line so it's got the upper headlight here mounted up above the cab right by the number boards and this light housing is about a quarter of an inch maybe five millimeters deep and it runs all the way from here to about here is solid plastic with this, this these two cylinders where the light uh, shone through and originally Athern had those dim rice bulbs installed in the back side of that and uh, it made for okay lighting but because the rice bulbs are so dim there's no issues with light bleed there when you go ahead and put an LED in this the problem is this is all white plastic inside here and when you turn this upper one on you get a bunch of light bleed coming out right here in this area basically this whole thing is glowing some of the number boards you can see it all over the place in this general area so let's take a look I've got an LED in it right now let's let's look and see what this light bleed looks like on this model alright bear with me here So you can see it shining through the number board there. Not very bright because I got the light on, but here let me turn this overhead light off and you'll see. So it's it's shining all over the place. It's basically lighting up this whole front end of the headlight. And that's just with one in there. So once you go ahead and put two in there, you're going to have all kinds of light bleed, light bleed coming out. And this isn't even really noticeable on the camera. It's a lot more noticeable in person, trust me. So I had to figure out a way to stop that. This is, uh, this is, you just can't have that. It doesn't look real at all. It just looks kind of like a cheap toy. So this is our solution right here. Just good old aluminum tin foil right from your pantry. What we're gonna do is roll it up into these tiny cylinders that are fit the same diameter as that light housing. And the way we do that is with a drill bit, the same size as the hole, and we just cut a small piece, roll it around the uh, end of this drill bit, and just slide it right in. Pretty simple. So when you're cutting the piece, you don't want to make it too long. So this, this width here is the whole width that it's going to slide into that headlight. You don't want this to be any longer because it, it'd be you know inside the shell you might get mashed and block off the light you don't want any hanging out the other side obviously so we want it just a little bit shorter than the the length of the housing so in my case it was this this width here and lengthwise you don't need to make you don't want to make more than a little bit over one roll I just find it gets too thick and too hard to handle so go ahead and we'll roll the roll one of these onto the drill bit and slide that right into the light housing So it helps, it helps if you uh, spin it a little bit to get it started. There, you can see our little tin foil fiber optics on there now. We'll go ahead and slide that into the locomotive headlight housing. So this is the tricky part here. You're going to want to spin it so that the tail of the roll is kind of trailing. You just slide that right in. And then to get it out, you go the, you re rotate the other way so the roll kind of expands, stays in the headlight. Boom, there we go. That one actually could have went in a little bit more, but it doesn't look too bad. So I think I might just leave it like that. So let's see what the uh, light bleed looks like now. Now it's still shining down into the cab, but we'll fix that with electrical tape on the other side. 
the main problem of it shining through the housing and all into the lumber boards and everything that's completely gone I think near the far end there we have a little bit and that's probably just from where it's not sealed so once I glue this LED in and that'll help clean up the rest of that light bleed you also have the other bonus that uh, the headlight is way brighter now compared to what it was before I had that uh, tinfoil roll in there and that's because the tinfoil is opaque and it reflects light and you don't instead of wasting all that light out the side you get a nice bright headlight now that looks a lot better and that's gonna look awesome with uh, with two in there you're gonna have a really nice bright headlight okay here's the first uh, LED installed the top headlight LED and you can see I just use a little bit of CA glue to hold the lead in place I don't actually put any glue around the LED I just glue the lead in place so you can see there's no uh, I haven't put any black paint uh, around the diode or anything it's just uh, I put a piece of black tape in there before I installed this one the LED diode is just facing right into that uh, tube of aluminum foil so let's flip it over and see if there's any light bleed uh, from this now that it's installed okay so desk lamp is off nice and bright so we look on the top no light bleed at all showing through that plastic housing anymore so we fixed that we still got a lot of light bleeding down in the cab I can see that in the windows there alright so rather than mess around with paint because I'm impatient I just took a little bit of a sticky tack or fun tack stuff you use to stick posters to the wall and uh, tuck that around it it's kinda like plaster scene type product and uh, that has taken care of the light bleed so we'll shut the desk lamp off here did a little bit of light bleed it's showing up a lot more in the camera than it is in person so it's so dim now I don't think you'd see that in the cab so now that we've taken care of the light bleed out of the top of the housing in the shell as well as in the cab I'd say this light is done and I'm gonna move on to the bottom headlight do it the exact same way and I'm also gonna do the same method on the rear two headlights so well, that'll wrap up this video guys I hope you found it informative if you have any other methods or comments or a way of doing things differently when you do your LED installs on a locomotive by all means share it with us in the comment section below I know there's uh, so many different models of locomotives and brands and the plastic they use um, I'm sure there's different problems that this method won't work for but if you found something that works good for you let us know in the comment section below that'll wrap up this video guys as always, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.